What's up YouTube? PJ back with another video and I'm back here at Mikey's house and we're trying to get the Lexus running. Last time we didn't actually get it started but he got it started a few days ago without me being here and that was a plus. Right now we have a few things to button up before we actually can get this thing driving like we have the exhaust off right here and we're just gonna put the diff up back in it. Oh about that Mikey you want to tell me a little story? Your backstory behind the diff. Yeah, well, when I was at Texas 2K, I ended up having trouble with the engine, and uh, a guy at the track named Baltic Supra broke his diff, and uh, he needed a diff, so I told him he could borrow mine. So they went all the way to the hotel and pulled the diff out of my car and put it in his car and ran eights. <laughs> but he Dang. eventually ended up breaking it, so he gave me another one to replace it, so that's it. Yeah, that's uh, that's the diff we putting in. Anyways, we have to put this diff back in there, load it up, load it back up with fluid, bolt it back up to the drive shaft, uh, change the transmission fluid or add transmission fluid, uh, change the coolant, and then we might see this thing on the road today. But uh, yeah, we about to go ahead and put this up now. So let's get on started with that. And I'm gonna have to jack it a little bit. That's fine. I'll just get you to lower it back down if you need to. Can you see uh the hole for the other one? Uh no. Oh, I mean. There you go. Glad it's going in smooth with me. Alright, so now that he has the diff up in the car. He's sliding the drive shaft in right now, about to bolt that up. And then he's just gonna have to bolt his axles back in. And that's pretty much gonna be it for bolting up under the car. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe to get these axles in there are six, uh, whatever style bolts they are, but six axle bolts that he's gonna have to do on each side. I need to get in the car so I can actually hold the e-brake while he uh, tightens them up. Help it make sure that nothing is moving around while he's tightening it up. Alright, so everything's buttoned up under there and Mike is filling his diff up with Royal Purple Gear Oil 7590 and yeah, we're getting this on in and then he has to fill up his transmission afterwards and once that's all buttoned up, we can jack the car down and mess with the coolant. This stuff really perfect. All right, that's empty. Now I need the other one out of the car, out of the truck. We don't care about the color. I see. We care about the function. I like this little cap on this thing. Mm-hmm. Usually it don't have nothing. Right. So we doing this, then we gotta bleed the clutch. That's gonna be, hopefully that's painless. Hold it down. All right, pull it up and pump it again. All right, so after a long days of work, we finally got pretty much everything we need to get buttoned up, buttoned up to be able to start the thing and get the car rolling. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this car starts up with ease and gets rolling real quick. Like it's checking a few last minute things. But yeah, we about to go ahead and start it up. Let's see, 800 horsepower.
Dang. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 